Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here and welcome to DCS World 2.5.6, perhaps for the last time before 2.7, and Razbam Sim's AV-8B Harrier module. Welcome to tutorial 13, the Maverick Missile. Today we're going to be demonstrating the use of the air-to-ground fire-and-forget Maverick Missile. Uh, it comes in a huge variety of variants uh, in the real world, but uh, in the case of the AV-8B, Harrier, uh, we only have two variants that uh, this aircraft is cleared to carry. Uh, so we are capable of carrying the AGM-65E, which is the Laser Maverick, uh, and I have that loaded here on the inner pylons, uh, one on each side. Uh, and it's uh, easy to recognize because it has the word laser across the nose, uh, and it has a clear uh, aperture on the front for the laser seeker. And then we also have the AGM-65F, which is the infrared guided version of the missile. This is in fact the navalized version of the AGM-65D. Um, so it has a larger warhead and its seeker is optimized for tracking ships, although it is still capable of tracking all normal infrared targets, much like the D model is. Uh, both of these weapons contain a 136 kilogram penetrating blast fragmentation warhead uh, and they have on paper a range of 12 nautical miles or more uh, but um, you're going to find that in most circumstances you need to be a little bit closer in fact to employ them. Um, for the infrared one to lock it's usually easiest to get a, a contrast lock at about 7.5 miles and in the case of the laser maverick the laser on the Harrier, in DCS at least, I don't know if this is a real-world limitation, it seems to top out at about 9 nautical miles. Um, so you're unlikely to get the maximum range out of these, but uh, they're still pretty decent long-range weapons. And in both cases, well, in the Infrared Maverick's case, it's absolutely fire and forget. Once it has a contrast lock on that scene that you've shown it, it uses a camera, um, it will track that target, whether that target remains stationary or it moves. So you can fire that and you can turn off. And in the case of the Infrared Maverick, uh, it really depends how it's being designated. If you're designating it yourself, which we will be today because I'm carrying the Lightning II targeting pod, you of course need to keep the laser on the target throughout the, the flight of the Maverick. But if your targeting pod is able to gimbal enough, which ours is pretty well, you can turn off target as long as you can retain your targeting pod on that target. Uh, of course, if you're being buddy lazed or if you're being lazed by ground forces, then absolutely fire and forget. Just pickle the missile and turn off target. Now, uh, in, in the case of both of these missiles, there actually is really no setup. Um, so... I'm going to skip right past the usual startup and showing you what they look like in the stores page and you can rejoin me once I'm en route to the range and I'll show you how to employ these two missiles. Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here and you join me en route to the range with uh, the two different types of Maverick loaded on the aircraft. Uh, I've got the aircraft in active pause just now uh, and as before I've got one of the bomb circles uh, set as a waypoint, waypoint 5 in this case, and we're 14 miles out. So let's take a quick look at how to get set up. We're going to do an attack with the AGM-65F, that's the inter infrared uh, Maverick, first. So let's focus down on the left hand MPCD here, and we're going to go main menu and stores. And you can see here that uh, on the stores page they're simply denoted as LMAVs and IRMVs. So infrared Mavericks, laser Mavericks. So for our first attack, uh, actually let's swap over to here and enter air to ground mode and turn on the master arm. So we're first going to select the infrared Mavericks. Uh, and the first thing to note is that uh, when you first select the infrared Mavericks they're going to be in mode standby. Now, there's a reason for this. Uh, the infrared camera on the missile needs to be actively cooled. In fact, it needs to be brought down to a very, very low temperature to make it um, accurate enough, or sensitive enough, in fact, to, um, to see distant heat sources. So it's doing that just now, and that takes approximately three minutes. So during that time, you cannot use the missile. Um, so that's, uh, that's something to keep in mind. You want to be selecting the weapon quite a bit before you reach your target area. Um, also note that there are two ways to effectively employ the missile. By default, when you uncage 
the missile, its camera will simply be looking at your flight path marker. So you can um, uncage the missile, point your flight path marker at your target, press TDC to press, and then start uh, slewing the, the Maverick onto target. Um, that's good for a target of opportunity. Alternatively, if you have a pre-planned target, like we do in this occasion, uh, you can simply designate your waypoint and then have the Maverick immediately slew to that target. I'm actually going to demonstrate both methods for you today. So we'll fire off both Mavericks, one of them in this kind of pre-designated mode and uh, one in a more target of opportunity mode using the HUD. So what I'm going to do momentarily is I'm going to accelerate time because ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, let's wait for the for the Maverick to show ready. So we're monitoring down here. It shows us which one we currently have select selected. We have station two. It's in standby. Uh, and tone, I think, is something that you can select. And in the real aircraft, I believe on weapons release, it would play a tone over COM1, I think? I can't quite remember. There we go, ready. We're going to bring it out of accelerated time. I don't know if the tone thing is actually implemented. Let's turn it on and find out. Uh, I've never actually tried. I know what it does in the real aircraft, it just doesn't, I, I just don't know if it works here. Um, okay, so the missile is now ready. You have to wait until you've got that. Uh, and if we take a very quick look at the HUD symbology before we proceed, you'll see that it simply says to IRMV. Uh, and to make use of the missile, we press the uncage button. And when we press the uncage button, we immediately get um, Maverick video on the same page that we had the stores page. Uh, I'm going to press. Oh, and the other thing to note is there'll be a U next to the two times IR Maverick in the HUD here. So that's fine. Uh, I'm going to recage the missile for now, and I'm going to go down to my left hand MPCD, and we are going to make sure that we waypoint designate. So we are now ready to engage uh, that bomb circle as a kind of pre planned target. So now, if I come over to this uh, MPCD and I press uncage, it's immediately looking at the bomb circle. Now, the thing is, we're a little bit too far out, so we're not, we are not going to get a lock at this range. Uh, so let's uh, let's bring it in a little bit closer. As always, we have the diamond on the HUD showing us what our currently designated target position is. So I've removed active pause. Let's fly towards the target, and um, we have this ranging information to our currently designated target. I'm not going to expect to get a lock until we're a little bit closer. Um, something to note. The crosshairs on the Maverick display, while they're open like this, the missile is not locked and it's not ready to fire. You can press FOV to get the tight field of view, uh, and that will make life a little bit easier. There is a ship mode here, uh, which will make uh, basically make the gate bigger for locking up ships, but we're not using that today. And that's special for this particular version of the Maverick. So, let's see. 10 miles. And the thing you're seeing here, two times infrared Maverick uncaged, uh, it's going to tell us when it's ready to launch. Uh, and also these crosshairs are going to collapse uh, when we are ready to launch the missile. So let's keep coming inbound. And to launch this missile, you're pressing the bomb pickle long. Eight miles. 7.5. I'm going to press my TD... Oh, actually, I need to press uh, sensor select switch forward before I can control the Maverick, and I'm going to press depress, and it's collapsed. It's ready to fire. And it did actually play the tone. That is that is simulated. I'm very surprised. I didn't know that was in the game. <laughs> Fantastic. So uh, I'm actually, I'm going to do a very unconventional thing, and I'm going to dive down towards the target, and I'm going to press sensor select switch aft twice, and I then get my DMT. And we can watch the target as that Maverick goes inbound. Let's wait for the shack. Shack. There we go. Perfect hit. Okay, let's pull away. That, that of course, is not something you would normally do. Uh, generally speaking, I'm just going to hit uh, nose wheel steering to undesignate there. Uh, generally speaking, you're going to immediately come off the target and, and pull away so you're not exposing yourself to enemy fire. So I'm going to get myself back up to altitude. Uh, I'm going to get myself a nice little distance away from the target, and then I'm going to go ahead and re-attack. In the meantime, I'm going to get set up for doing a target of opportunity, so I'm going to undesignate the waypoint. Once again, I'm going to press nose wheel steering just to make sure that all my targeting information is cleared. 
and I'm now going to press sensor select switch forward and you see that that gives me INS mode. If I press forward again nothing will happen just now but once I uncage the Maverick there will be the possibility uh, to go into the Maverick mode. Uh, I need to actually go back to the stores page first though. There we go. So we're on the stores page. If I, yeah, if I press uncage I get Maverick video and notice that the Maverick video is just following my flight path marker there. So this is how we're going to designate our next target. I'll bring this over so that I can see what I'm doing. We're at about six miles out. I'm going to come around and we're going to re-attack that same bomb circle. This is a perfectly good range for doing a target of opportunity. It, you, you'll note that uh, when you're trying to attack a target of opportunity, you probably want to be just a little bit closer because it is a little bit fiddly getting the missile on target and uh, to to kind of lock. Okay, so we have the added benefit of having the circle showing us where the waypoint is. Uh, I'm going to get my flight path marker over the target area, depress, and I'm now going to slew. Ooh, it's a little bit hard. No, 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 no. The other thing that's hard is right now there's a bug uh, where the uh, Maverick controls are sometimes reversed. Oh, that's because actually I need to press sensor select forward to switch it to IR Mav mode. This, that's why this is not working. There, I have a lock. Rifle. So yes, note that before trying to steer the Maverick, you have to press sensor select switch forward to switch it into IR Mav mode. And shack. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to undesignate once again, and we have no more IR Mavs left. Let's uh, regain that altitude and go off target, and I will then show you how to employ the infrared Maverick. First thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to press sensor select switch aft, and we're going to enter our laser code. One, six, eight. Hey, oh, it's not allowing me to enter it. Sometimes it does that. If you ever have that, just press code and encode again. One, six, eight, eight, enter. Laser code is now set. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to get ready with the uh, Lightning 2 targeting pod because for the Laser Maverick we need to laze. Uh, I'm going to press sensor select, switch aft again to get rid of that laser spot search. Menu, T pod, and I'm actually just, I'm going to pop on the autopilot and focus down on that MPCD so we can see exactly what I'm doing here. Now, most of this was covered in the Lightning 2 targeting pod video, so I'm not going to go into too much detail here. I'm just going to give you step by step what you want to do. So, bring the pod out of standby. Uh, bring the laser out of safe mode. Make sure the laser is in laser mode. We're now going to jump back over here, and we're going to designate that waypoint. And that means the targeting pod will have swung around, and it will now be pointing towards... Uh, our bomb circle that we want to attack. So with that done, I'm now going to depress sensor select switch twice and we're now controlling the targeting pod, confirmed with T-pod and we can see the laser code. If you're playing in multiplayer make sure that you have different laser codes from your buddies. Okay so with that done we're ready to come around and uh, re-attack the target and now also in preparation I'm going to select the LMAV profile. And here you can see two times LMAV. Perfect. Okay, so autopilot off and let's come around and get the uh, lightning pod looking at that target. Here we come. Okay, we're now facing the target. I'm going to pop it back on autopilot. We can focus down here on the targeting pod and we can see, yep, indeed, oops, indeed we have what we're expecting to see. Let's uh, change the field of view there. Let's designate that target. Sensor select switch aft to put it into area track and then depress the TDC to set it. That looks perfect. 
Uh, I'm going to do a quick range on the target just to make sure it's correct. We're shooting about 10 miles to the target. I'm now going to fire my laser. And then I pressed sensor select switch forward, long, and that immediately switched me to the Laser Maverick page. And on the Laser Maverick page, I have confirmation of my current laser code. We're now going to press uncage. And now the Laser Maverick is looking for that laser spot. It should pick it up soon, because I am firing my laser at that target. Might need to get a little bit closer. I'm actually going to turn off the autopilot and nose down a bit more. Just to make sure that we bring the... Oh, there we go. It's immediately popped up. So now you can see there's a box on the HUD over the target, and there's also a box in the Laser Maverick screen. Press and hold pickle. And that's rifle. And I could actually uncage and fire a second one now as well. Rifle. I'm now going to come out of uh, out of that dive. We're going to watch the laser maverick making its way to the target. That sounded like the first one striking. Kaboom! And that was the second one. Excellent. Okay, and we could now double uh, depress the sensor select switch twice. Oh, that's not working. Oh. That is very interesting. Okay, so I actually have to press menu T-pod. For some reason the targeting pod has gone back into standby. That doesn't seem to be correct, uh, but I brought it out of standby and it was tracking the target and it was firing the laser, so that's a little bit of strange behaviour. Uh, but that is how you employ the infrared and the laser-guided Mavericks in the Harrier. Uh, please, if you haven't already, subscribe and like. It's a really big help for me and the channel. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.